of the way, mother. I love that zombie. Excuse me? That's right, we all love this zombie. Stubbs is back in Rebel Without a Pulse. And that's right, this classic original Xbox title is back and ready to go. I never thought I would see the day when Stubbs the zombie would return. They said that they had issues with the backwards compatibility, with the licensing, but here we go. Stubbs is back and looking better than ever. So obviously they've improved the experience in regards to the visuals, crisp 1080p and then 60 FPS for the fluidity. It looks great, it, it plays really well in regards to how it feels, and it's something you can play entirely in single player or you can play the whole game with a split screen cooperative, you know, two players going together having a good time, which is a lot of fun and how I played it back when I was young. So yeah, it, again, it's just, it's crazy because I played this when I was little, little and you know, I don't really remember all of the levels. I, I certainly didn't. I remember the music, <laughs> all of the music in this one. They've, they seemingly have brought it all back from what I remember. Big dance moment with some covers of, really good covers of some incredible songs from this uh, era, which I guess is like 1959. Punch Bowl City, the beacon of progress and ideal living. So you're a dead man, you're on a mission, the story kind of reveals itself. So from what I remember back in the day was the romance, the, the music, some of the, the moments where you're moving around, the driving, some of the levels, like the farming stuff, I remembered all that, and the big brains moment, which I have included at the end, which I will not talk over because it is so iconic. <laughs> so anyways, the game is good. It, it really is. It's fun. I now fully get all of the jokes and references because it's a pretty, like, adult game. <laughs> Maybe I didn't realize it back then or it didn't phase me at all, but you're, like, really, you're biting into brains, ripping like blood just splurts out of the skulls it's crazy right like it's violent there's some really adult nods and stuff at the same time it's also kind of i guess you could say like when i played it when i was young you don't really notice this stuff from a kid perspective so i guess technically if you're fine with violence this is something that anyone could play i, I guess you wouldn't really necessarily get everything at, at least i did and it's been so long since i played this and it's on the blam engine so it kind of feels a little bit like Halo, if you're not familiar with, uh, well, with the Blam engine. So, yeah, it, it's just kind of a really neat game. Now, with that, I will say that the game hasn't necessarily aged the best at this point in time. I still had a good time with it. It was still fun. I got that, you know, nostalgic little burst. But just keep in mind... This is an older game, you know, time has gone by, some of the level mechanics aren't quite as thrilling or exciting as they used to be. I still think the cutscenes are hilarious, like this is just, he's so funny, he's got such a, such a weird sort of style to him, like he's just like a bizarre character, you know, it, it, it's kind of wild. But yeah, I, I love Stubbs. He's so cool. I like his moves. I like his abilities. And I think if put in a modern title, you could really make something special, funny, entertaining, keeping the skill sets, but just upgrading the world. Because that's the biggest issue here is it kind of feels like an old game. That's that's the one thing. And I mean, it's, it's the same game, right? So you're it is going to play like an old game. It just looks a lot cleaner, which, you know, is great. But... There's so many parts of it that I think have aged quite a bit that might be a bit off-putting for some individuals if you, you know, kind of are expecting something really fast. Because sometimes, you know, it, it takes quite a while to get places. A lot of it is literally kind of hopping or shambling along really open, kind of empty areas, which, you know, is kind of like, uh, not not necessarily the best. And it's hardcore. I played it on normal. There's different difficulty options, so you can you can make it easier. But I just played it on normal all the way through. I, I did it all in one sitting because I was having a good time. But those end levels are just oh wow, they 
they do not hold up. They're very long, they're very hardcore, and, and that's another big issue, is they really should have implemented some better checkpoint systems, because there's points where you're like basically almost going back to the beginning of the level when you die at times, uh, which is crazy. Anyways, it's still a really fascinating game. I think it's worth checking out and worth playing. I think primarily, no matter what you feel about the overall experience in terms of you know, how it plays or, or the story or anything like that. You'll love this character. And I don't know why, because he, he doesn't really say anything. It's more like his hilarious actions, and he's like a slapstick kind of zombie character. He's the, the very generic salesman, he's got his tie, you know, he's got his <laughs> his suit on. And it's, it's cool, and I, I think the story though, because I remember the story sort of giving you details right off the bat, but it very much reveals itself to you as you progress. And I think that's really interesting, because at the beginning, you're just gonna see a zombie that's kind of like, in love as to say, it's got hearts, it's like, oh, over this lady, and they try to take her away. But you kind of understand why as the story progresses. And I feel like it was really good to get this sort of, you know, viewing of it. If that makes sense, I, it just really was a great nostalgic play, and I overall, I enjoyed it. I, I think you might find this to be a lot of fun. At the same time, you know, just keep in mind that some of it can be pretty difficult. That's that's true. But once you get towards that ending and stuff, and you get everything figured out, you'll be like, oh wow, you know, that's actually kind of a very sweet sort of story. And I would have loved to have another Stubbs. Apparently they were even working on one back in the day, but... Yeah, just did not happen because the studio kind of totally vanished. Something like that um, way back when. I think it was like 2012 or something. I don't know. Anyways, the studio vanished. We never got any more. And it's just kind of been, you know, Stubbs has just been sitting there waiting, waiting to come back. And now you can experience this character maybe for the first time or, you know, revisit and see this character in action. And I think... You know, it's kind of worth the ride. It's fun. Yeah, not every moment is fantastic, and not every moment feels like a modern title. But it's still got such a great humor, a good story, a good sense of environment. The concept's neat. It throws you into the action. It's a very simple kind of game to play. And it gives you freedom, too. Because the zombies that you kind of, you know, people that you turn into zombies, are kind of your assistants. So there's a level of... I'm using these zombies, like you can push them to go and do stuff, you can whistle to them to gather them. You can use these zombies to help you out. So if you're having an issue in a point, it's more about like, hey, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna get my zombie crew to come in and give me a hand, as opposed to you just running through it all the way. You have all these assists, you've got like your arm that you can control people, you've got like a gas grenade, you've got <laughs> a fart that you can use, and also that knocks people out of tanks in case you were wondering. Uh, it took me a second to figure that one out again. You can roll your head. It's just, it's very creative in what it allows you to do. And I think that's kind of neat, that concept of like, you're very much doing a character story and you feel this stuff using like biting people's brains. Anyways, you use this stuff in very many creative ways to get jobs done. Sometimes you gotta break down barriers, but it's not like directly like a real time strategy game to any degree. This is very much an action, you know, single player sort of experience, but it has these interesting mechanics sitting there in the backdrop and it just really leaves a lot of dimensions for how you can actually like kind of problem solve areas. So I think this game's really neat. I think if you've never seen it before, if you give it a whirl, you might actually really find it cool. At least I promise you'll fall in love with Stubbs because he's just the coolest zombie in the world. I'd love to see him return. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look at Stubbs the zombie. It was really fun to go back and see this game in action and enjoy this beautiful brains moment right here. Brains, 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 brains. Brains! Brains!